welcome. <coughs> In this session, we will discuss about the Angel Colette and Blackwell model of consumer decision making. This is also known as the grand model of consumer decision making. Now, Angel Colette Blackwell model, as any other basic models of contemporary, uh, rather contemporary models of consumer buying behavior, has undergone several modifications and improvisation to enhance its evocative power of the basic relationships between the constructs and subconstructs of consumer decision making. The latest version coined up was the Angel Colette Maniad model, which principally portrays the four stages and like Hawashed model, this is also of four stages. One part as you can see here is the input part from where the information is flowing to the customer. This is the information processing part that is the second one and this is the decision making after processing the information how to take the decision and these are the exogenous variables which uh, has implication to on the decision making process. So, we go one by one. We first talk about the first stage of this and in this case actually we will not start from here, we will start from the central part that is the decision making process and from here we will move uh, in both the sides. So, first here the pivotal point of this model is the five stage decision making problem. You can clearly see here the five stage decision making problem. One is the need for high tech mobile. We are just taking the same example of mobile. So, here is the need recognition. This part is the information search. This is the evaluation of alternative followed by this is the purchase part. This is the post purchase part satisfaction or dissatisfaction when this is again forming some perception about the brand. So, this is the five stage decision making process which is in the central point of this uh, model. So, nonetheless as discussed in the earlier modules or chapters in, in all purchase situation the consumer are not passed only through five stages only in case of extended problem solving behavior all these five stages would be visible that we have already said. And as because as in our worksheet model also I have said that we are talking about the high tech mobile phone which is an expensive product. So, therefore, it is an high involvement decision making rather extensive problem solving behavior and therefore, we can see all five stages of uh, buying decision making very clearly here. So, we move to the second part that is the information input here. Okay. So, this is quite uh, similar to the stimulus input stage which we have mentioned in the previous Howard shed model. So, in this stage also the consumer first tries to recollect the product or brand related information from his own memory which is known as internal search. So, for example, in case of choosing high tech mobile the prospect first tries to remember the advertisement to which he is exposed to in the recent past and which sets his peer groups have recently used and what are the features of these brands, what are their peer groups are talking about. So, here you can find out uh, it is here when the prospect this is a search for information and search for information first search should be dipping down to the memory. This is the internal search. So, internal search he will try to remember what has happened like whatever he has received the information through expo whatever the advertisements they were exposed to whatever kind of, uh, um, of their friends and peers are using. So, all this if they are not satisfied with this information then or they feel that this information is not enough, then they can go for deliberately asking their peers, colleagues and they can deliberately search information from the uh, mass media also or the storekeepers, I mean the particularly the retailers about or maybe in the online sites they can compare about the uh, product features. Okay. So, this is an external search and this is internal search when you deep down to your memory into this. And from your external search also whichever information you feel is very relevant that again uh, uh, that again is um, uh, is included in your long term memory. So, this is what. So, sometimes the thing goes 
other way around also that is the external stimulus sometimes generate the problem. So, this is what I am saying is once you recognize the problem and then you are searching information, it may go other way as also like you have been exposed to some uh, ad of Apple iPhone 7 or you have been exposed to the ad of uh, Samsung the new series water resistance series which is coming up. So, if you are uh, then that then you feel the need of changing your handset. So, it may be like that also it may come from that side also. So, uh, many times and also sometimes you may have purchased a product and then you are not so satisfied. So, then also you may search external information to confirm that how the other brands are performing and whether should you change this model or not. Now, we move to the next part of this model which is known as the third stage information processing this part. right? In this part what do we do in this phase the consumer decision making encompasses the following stages the consumers exposure to the marketer stimuli that is the advertisement or any other form of marketers communication attention if the product has any relevance to the customer perception once the marketers communication fall within the perceptual threshold of the customer acceptance to the information and retention of the perceived and accepted information in the memory initially in the short term and gradually it enters in the long term memory. I will just uh, explain it with example that when the prospective buyer of the high tech mobile they may have to undergo the following stages of information processing. So, first may be they are ushered with uh, television commercials, hoardings, banners and also they get lot of information about high tech mobiles from their peer group. So, if the information sounds relevant to them because if he is choosing as a customer he is choosing the product based on price, strain, style, design or any other add on features or the availability of the product the service center or maybe the uh, celebrity who is endorsing it or maybe the um, colors of the mobile or maybe the um, kind of uh, advertisement it uh, the kind of esteem need it can satisfy. So, if all these things uh, whichever is my evaluative criteria if the product actually talks any of the USP of the products are talking about any of this criteria then actually it will catch my attention and it will fall within my absolute threshold and terminal threshold which means it will be uh, in my perceptual threshold I can perceive it now I pay attention to it. Then I start interpreting it and after the interpretation the prospective buyer can shape the evoked set and retain the messages related to the choice set by transferring the input in the long term memory. Because after all this thing I may think that trend wise okay, style wise Samsung is good, uh, design wise I feel Micromax is uh, good, uh, features wise I think Nokia, Nokia is good, uh, I think uh, you know feature wise and design wise Apple is also very good. So, this is how I have several brands in my choice set. So, this is how I just prefer that you just retain the messages you collect lot of messages lot of information, but you retain only those messages which uh, actually make some sense to you. So, you first make a selection that if, if stylish and price is the two criteria on the basis of which you are selecting a brand then you filter all these messages based on that and whichever is price competent and stylish brand that is staying within your perceptual threshold and your evoked set is formed with those brands which are uh, price uh, which, which are affordable and which are stylish. And then you retain and then again you retain other information about this brands also because you collect more information this time about this brand. Initially it will be in your short term memory then it passes to the long term memory. So, this is the information search part where uh, this information processing we have already discussed. Now, we come to the fourth part of this model that is the variables that are influencing the decision making process. This is the fourth stage as Miniart has improved this model he has actually added this part and he said that individual and environmental influences on all can in this can in or these parameters which we have already discussed the individual determinants and the uh, environmental determinants all this has an implication on the uh, 
uh, on all the stages actually of the decision making process. So, uh, similar to Horshed model also here too, the individual characteristics that include motives, values, lifestyle, personality of the customer and how this matters this we have already discussed in the uh, individual determinant section. Motivation we also know that what are the different we studied several motivational theories like Maslow's motivational theory we have studied uh, we have studied the dictus consumption motives. Okay. So, when we have studied all these motives we know that what can be the predominant motives for uh, customers choice for even for need recognition. Okay. If I have a social need, if I have a safety need uh, if I am not so good in, in terms of my health and I feel that the, my organization is not giving me enough coverage, then I may be interested to buy a medical insurance. I may feel the need of buying a medical insurance. Are you with me? So, therefore, that is my the safety need is my motive in that case which drives my need recognition also. And now, which medical insurance? There are several brands which provide medical insurance. So, what I will do is I will search many because say I may be have I may be prone to some uh, lungs disease. So, therefore, I will search the policies which actually are talking about ex, uh, inclusion of lungs disease not exclusion wherever the lungs disease is excluded I will try to avoid those kind of policies. So, that is the kind of selective um, Atte retention, attention I am actually paying to the messages, I am filtering actually the messages based on my requirement. And finally, all the policies which actually provide me uh, this benefit of um, lungs disease, are the, all these are in my book set and then I may compare these brands and see where the premium might be less, where the service is little better, I will ask my peers and all this. So, that, that comprises of my information search and processing part. And then it was kind of even even in the evaluation of alternative also whatever criteria I have said about the premium structure, my own age and uh, the uh, service the insurance agents performance, the brand image of the company. So, all these together uh, may be will be my evaluative criteria based on which I will make a decision of which brand I will decide to buy. This we have already discussed in the previous sections. So, I am not uh, going in details to that. But this is that is I mean to say that these motives, this uh, value systems, this uh, lifestyle, the personality parameters and my requirements all this together actually influence not only my need recognition, but also my information search as well as my evaluation of alternative criteria. And the purchase point also if I am very much price sensitive and if any competing brand is giving a better discount at the purchase point. So, maybe I will be interested at the, uh, to buy that product. So, therefore, at the purchase point also you know the uh, my own personality that whether I am very price sensitive or not and whether I am very much prone to uh, succumb to this uh, discounts and all this or not. So, that also determines my choice at the final stage that is the purchase stage. So, this has implication actually in all stages and then there are social implications also which social influences also which we have discussed in the previous sessions that how culture has an implication on consumers decision making, how reference groups uh, by means of reference like if I am very much con conscious about my beauty and all this may be lux, I will prefer lux which is mentioned as the Sitaroka Sandhya Saban and which is actually uh, for years together is using. Uh, different celebrities as their female celebrities as their models when they are in their top forms. So, those are the things then there could be some family factors family decision also we have checked some situational factors like the ups and downs of the financial condition and many other things that can also influence the decision making process. Now, about the high tech mobile users which we were discussing in the earlier session also in this session also. Once again it is well understood from the explanation of Howard Shed model that the young in high income prospective consumers are more influenced by the social and individual variables like esteem needs, social needs or trendy lifestyle, happy go lucky lifestyle, chic urbanite personality etcetera. The model therefore, incorporates many important individual uh, social parameters such as the values, lifestyle, personality, culture which significantly influence the consumer decision making. And this addresses the gap actually which we did not find in the economic models. Economic models only focused on the 
uh, microeconomic models focus mainly on price and budget line and macroeconomic models mostly on the in, in, um, customers income and its their relative income. But the contemporary model in Gaussian model first started with the uh, assumption of you know taking the motivational and attitudinal variables into consideration, but it was not so uh, clearly measured, it was very abstractly measured and uh, it is not empirically tested as such. Then came the Howard shed model which was even more elaborative and it was having a two way fit with different uh, connections and feedback loops of uh, with all these variables. So, the variables were interconnected in all the ways which in Nicosia model it was an unidirectional model, it was not saying how motivational parameters can impact the attitudinal parameters also kind of. So, in Howard shed model we first addressed this kind of we have seen how they have addressed this kind of gaps and EK model is also an addition in that purview only which has incorporated so many exogenous variables into consideration and it has actually bridged the gap uh, because between amongst all the models we can say because it starts with the five stress decision making model, it has elaborated from the stimulus response part of our watershed model here, it takes into consideration as the information processing part which is very similar to the IDA model attention in interest desired action which I have discussed during the communication process model part and then here the variables these are all the determinants which in our shared model we were talking about the exogenous variables which here we have actually discussed in much more details where we have talked about the uh, individual traits then we have talked about the social influences and there we are talking about the situational influences we have divided it into three and very very elaborately uh, eka model has uh, you know uh, discussed about how this exogenous variables has an impact on the consumer decision making However, this model and all other contemporary models are not free from the criticisms. Of late in 1991 that too, uh, Du Places and Rosu, they have said that the majority of the contemporary models shaped during the 1960s and 70s lacked strong theoretical background as the discipline of consumer behavior was in its nascent stage at that time. This concern might have been partially eliminated by modernizing of some of the contemporary models like EKV model, the so called grand model. Now, I have already mentioned that how Miniard has devised it and now it is EKM model, uh, which has categorically and explicitly encompassed several individuals and environmental constructs of consumer decision making such as values, lifestyle, personality and culture. And nonetheless, the environmental and individual variables mentioned in the models have been ushered with several criticisms due to vagueness of their definitions and their roles with the in the decision making process. This we have got from the uh, mode, um, from Loudon and De La Bita in 1993 in their paper. To be more specific, the influences of the environmental variables are well identified, but their roles in influencing the buyer behavior are not very comprehensively elucidated. So, I mean which is most important, which is less important, in which kind of purchase, which is more important. So, these kind of things have not been uh, discussed in details. And another thing I will just try to talk about the bottom of the pyramid market where maybe the customers are not so rational, their evaluative criteria is also uh, not so clear, it might be hindranced by something else, it may be hindranced by their uh, lack of literacy, it may be hindranced by their financial um, lack, their, their financial um, weakness. So, so, in those cases the decisions are always not rational, many times they are resorted to bounded rationality to maximize their utility. So, and to minimize their transaction cost. So, that those kind of factors has not been analyzed here and uh, this model and all these models actually fails to showcase which factors will shape the individual and social variables and to what extent that is is the most important part. In countries like India, Pakistan, Bangladesh religion also plays a major role to elucidate the behavioral characteristics of the customer and thereby lead to a better understanding of the model and this religious part is not so much included in this model. Further, the roles of individual purchase motives are only considered to be constructive for need recognition, thereby the crucial theoretical aspect seems to be undervalued in analyzing decision making process. This has been mentioned by Bagosi, Kurhan, Candley in 2002, Loudon and Delabita in 1993. 
The model has also been criticized for its mechanistic treatment with highly flexible psychological and social constructs. As I was saying that they have just broadly mentioned about this construct, but in each of this purchase situation, the constructs might, um, might play a different role, the relative strength might be different, which I mean to say. So, and um, so these parts are not so much addressed, but lot of researches are going on actually here and new and new models are coming up in this domain. So, let us see how it progresses.